Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk to you today about The Great I Am, a book that the Lord inspired me to write, so I'm going to read some of it out of there and kind of talk about it. So, anyhow, the Lord dealt with me that His people, God's people, were asking, Who am I? Asking the Lord, Who am I? Instead of believing in the Great I Am. You know, when we ask who He is, we're questioning God. You know, why haven't you shown up in my finances? Why haven't you shown up in my children's salvation? Why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? Where are you, God? What's 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 going on? What's happening? Why why are bad things seeming to happen to me? Why am I suffering? You know, instead of believing in the great I am. You know, I'm gonna read some experts excerpts from the book. And in a minute I'll tell you more about the book. And then in the Old Testament, Jesus, Jehovah God, was the I am that I am. Genesis 17, 1, 28, 15, Exodus 3, 14, Jeremiah 3, 31, and 19. In Genesis 17, 1, God spoke to Abraham and said, I am the Almighty God. In the New Testament, Jesus was spoken of as the I am. John 14, 6, and 7. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye sh ye sh you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Revelations 1, 18. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The Lord which is and which is was to come, and which is to come, the Almighty. You know, there's a message that I've got called God's image of you, and it's all about God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit all being one, and how they all live in you, and, and it's just an awesome message, just email me, and I'll be glad to send you a copy of it, but that's kind of what the gist of this is about, so that's why God and Jesus are the same, the great I am, so, here's another part of the excerpt of the book. When Moses parted the Red Sea, he had no idea what God was about to do. He knew the power of the I am that I am, and had faith. He raised his staff to the Red Sea, Exodus 14, 13-31. And four miracles happened. The angel of the Lord went behind the children of... Well, I don't really want to read that part of it. I'm going to read a different part of it. Sorry. When Moses said to God... The children of Israel doubted Moses had heard from God. When they got to the Red Sea, they said to Moses, When they saw Pharaoh's army, You led us out of the land of Egypt to be killed by Pharaoh's army. Exodus 14, 11-14 They could only see God as, Who am I? Where are you, God? Why is this happening to us? There is no way out. In front of us is the Red Sea. There is no way to cross it. Behind us and coming fast upon us is Pharaoh's army, who will surely kill us. Instead, they should have been looking to the great I am. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. He is he. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all that that all they that are incensed against you shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. They shall they that strive with thee shall possess, shall perish. You shall seek them and shall not be and they shall not be found. Even them that contended with thee, that they that war against thee should should be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will uphold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Isaiah 41, 10 through 13. That's the great I am that I know. That's what we need to do with that faith in the great I am. That he'll see us through any situation, whether whatever it might be, marriages, finances, children that are unsaved, loved ones that are unsaved, brothers or sisters, illnesses, people in the hospital. You know, yeah, eventually, and there comes a time when somebody's going to pass from this earth, but there may not, that may not be their time, you know. Prayer can change things. The great I am can change things. Believing in God can change things. Anyhow, that's kind of the just my message about trusting in the great I am instead of, instead of questioning him. Who am I? Well, like he told me that his people are doing. We need to believe in the great I am. 
If you'd like a copy of this book, it's all about visions. The Lord inspired me to write a book about visions. So just look at some of my other YouTube videos. Some awesome visions in there. Uh, that's what the book is all about. There's some excerpts of some writing in there. You can get a free copy by emailing Steve, a free limited copy, limited time copy, by emailing Steve Youngstrom at yahoo.com. I'll send you any messages that you want. The God's image of you. I've got some other great messages. I won't misuse your email, your email address that you send me. I won't misuse your address. I'll use it one time, whatever you ask. That's it. I'm not going to put it in the data bank or just, you know, send you a bunch of junk email. So anyhow, that's kind of the gist of my message. I'm trying to keep them short so that you'll stay tuned for the whole message. If you like this message, put a like on there. If you really, really like it and want to subscribe, please send me your email for a free copy of the book. It's an awesome book. It's inspired by the Lord, and it's just, it's awesome. So anyhow, that's the gist of my message, the great I am. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you, and we'll talk to you real soon.